Hey guys, it's Sean. This is Devlog2. For farming, I added colliders between the seed packet and farming slot. Simply dropping a seed onto the planting slot will plant a crop according to the seed dropped. There was no visual before, but now you can clearly see a mound where the seed is planted. Added an interaction bar that fills when watering. When using the watering can, it basically checks to see if you're watering the right spot. Once the right spot is watered long enough, the visuals will update and the plant will then grow. Added a back and forth movement on moving objects. There's a known bug where if you're holding an object and you move the object into another object and drop it, it could cause a jitterbug. What happens is when any object is held by a player, the colliders are disabled and once the object is dropped, the colliders are enabled. The reason I disabled the object's collision is so that players won't be able to do this. So I'm still working on a solution. Added a silencer attachment to the pistol. There's an equip silencer button on the inventory, which basically activates a ball where it says the pistol is now silenced. So once the pistol is shot, it will play the silenced pistol version of the shot and without the muzzle flash. Fixed the sound generator problem. Shooting from a weapon will expand the noise collider. The collider will then interact with any zombie in range and cause them to essentially look for you. Once a weapon is silenced like the pistol, it won't generate as much noise. Added a loot body function. Once a zombie is killed, it activates a collider to search its body for loot. Shows a simple interaction bar and once the interaction is finished, it generates a random loot. There was an exploit where killing the zombie again will reactivate the loot function regardless if it's dead or not. Added a simple condition first before killing the zombie to check if a zombie is actually dead already before killing it again. Added UI visuals for player stats. This clearly shows how the player is doing in terms of rest, food, water and stamina. There's little arrows on the ends that show what is increasing or decreasing. How the stats work is that the more of these that are filled, the faster your stamina will regenerate. Having none of these filled will essentially cause your stamina regeneration to stop. Once the stamina is filled all the way to max, then the degeneration of the stats is halved. Added a resting function where the player can sit down to increase their rest stat. Added stamina costs for the machete and spear weapons with the condition before attacking to see if the player actually has enough stamina for the attack move. Added a character customization panel for the player. Interacting with the wardrobe will open up the UI panel where you can mix and match different options. As of right now, the customization is limited. I just wanted to test it out in a simple way, but later on, once I'm polishing the game, I do want the customization to have more variety. Added an X-ray mode. Initially, I want players to be able to activate an X-ray vision ability to see items and interactables through walls and objects, but I don't want this to be active all the time. Right now, it can be toggled on and off, but later I'm going to add a condition where the player has to be healthy for this to be active. Added an aim constraint to the zombie's head. What this does is when the player is spotted by the zombie, the zombie will look directly at the player. This makes the zombie feel more interactive and it's easy to tell if the zombie has actually spotted you. Added a death animation to the player with dramatic camera angles. I tried to copy the GDA death camera when it pans above the player when you're dead. Let me know what you guys think. I'm trying to upload on a weekly schedule and I feel like more of my vlogs are going to be structured the same way as this one. Pretty much just listing down what's been done and a bit of personal input. If you guys liked the video, like, subscribe and comment any suggestions. Thanks.